hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is a quick video on pipe cleaner curls so if you're interested stay tuned welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a lock video a lock style and this is actually my first time but i'm doing some pipe cleaner curls so i already did one and i plan to wear this as a style as the pipe cleaners um, I plan on wearing the pipe cleaners like this as a style first and then taking them down and wearing the curls. So I actually just washed my hair with nothing but water because I already washed it this week. And well, not this week, but I washed it like two days ago. I usually wash my hair at least once or twice a week, but I just washed my hair two days ago with shampoo so I did a water wash this time just to get my hair wet and I'm gonna and I latched it like two days ago but I didn't feel myself wash um latching it um yeah so and I just learned how to do this you get the pipe cleaner okay and then you bend it like that make a little loop around and this gives you something to grab when you take your pipe cleaner out. Because I used to always see people make these and I never knew what exactly they were doing um, with the loop. So I finally sat down on YouTube and figured it out. And I also have some like this. If you have long or thick locks, which I feel like mine are right in the middle. So I did a lot of two, two strand ones. But... I was running out of pipe cleaner, so I did do some single strand ones too. But if you want something to hold up better, you want to do the two strand ones. I got these pipe cleaners for um, 90 or basically a dollar a pack at Walmart. You get 25 of them and I bought four packs. But yeah, going for it, you just take your pipe cleaner like that and then you grab your lock. And what I do is I actually... I twist my end and I cover my end with my lock so it's not, so it doesn't get that awkward straight bit on it. And then I just twist it up. Woo, it's kind of hard to do on camera. Ignore that. Let's try this again. So I just do a spiral curl and keep twisting it up all the way to the root. And I'm telling you this like I'm a professional. This is literally the first time I ever did this. Okay, so once you get to the root, you fold it down, okay? And then you wrap the remainder around the lock or the barrel or whatever you wanna call it, like so. Okay, so you have something that looks like that. Okay, and then what I do is bend this little loop under so you can't see it. And you can play around with it. So basically, I'm gonna do this all over my head and hopefully I have a cute, hopefully I have a cute little short style for a change. Because I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I have to wear a mask at my job all day long. And I also love to wear my hair in buns because I hate to deal with it nine times out of 10. So I get a lot of tension headaches from having the bun and my mask on. And on top of that, I, um, I have to wear glasses too. <laughs> So it's like three different things pulling at my ears all day long and I get a tension headache from that and an earache. So I'm hoping this style will keep me from having to put my hair in a bun every day at least, or a ponytail every day. So I'm gonna keep going through and I'm making sure I oil my ends really good because I've colored my hair like four times in the last year and it's really starting to show a little damage 
So I try to make sure I keep my ends moisturized. And you see how that's, that end is kind of peeking out? I'm gonna redo that and make sure I overlap. It's hard to show y'all, but I'm gonna make sure I overlap my end so that it does not peek out. And honestly, it looks like they're moving, but just keep playing with them. I probably should have made me a little banging. I should have made me a little banging on the front. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm in too deep now, so I'm going to just keep going how I'm going. And also feel free to oil your scalp. And I'm choosing to do one at a time because I want to have really defined curls. Oh, you see that? That was too loose, so I'm gonna redo that one. But yeah, I want to have really defined curls, so I'm just doing one at a time. But you can do as you wish. I have seen people do four or five at a time, maybe even 10 at a time. But I want some really defined curls that's not gonna um, slip or come loose. I want them to last for at least a few days. Okay, and you see how I'm um, twisting that around till it get to the bottom. And then I'm gonna tuck that into the little honey hole right there. Dude, I, I really, I really think my head is too long for this style. My head's starting to look real long. <laughs> yeah, my head is really starting to look really long, but got to keep going. Okay, so right here, I actually had this little baby flat because I decided to shave my sides and I regret it now. So I'm waiting on that to grow back in. So don't mind that. You know the things we do out of boredom. I had no business shaving my side. I was just bored and I did it. Now I hate it. Ow, ow, that I don't know why this hurts. I think I need to loosen this one. But y'all get the drift. I'm gonna go ahead and um try to finish up what I'm doing and I will show y'all. Well, let me do this one right here for y'all because that looks like it's a good one where I can really show you. So let's get in there. So you see, you got the lock, you gotta put the end, my fat thumb, put the end in there and you're gonna wrap your hair around your own end. Make a little cocoon. And then you're gonna just twist it really tight. Then you're gonna bend that over and you're gonna fold it 
Yeah, and uh, I did see like at the dollar stores and stuff, they had these, but they were, they were um different colors and they were like tacky, like red, yellow, orange colors, and it would look really weird. So make sure you get the black. That's what I got. Okay, y'all. So I'm almost done. I got what about five left? I don't know. I think it's starting to look pretty good. I mean, there are some imperfections, but you know, if you got short hair, or sorry, long hair, and you wanna go for a short look, this is perfect. And also if you're um, you're locked and you used to be loose natural and you kind of miss your fro a little bit, this is kind of a way. Now I will tell you guys, this one, if you use one, which I ran out of the double, so now I gotta use one. These are really flimsy with just one, in my opinion. So what I've been doing is actually, I'm making the loop like I did with the other ones, but I'm also kind of doubling it over and it gives it some extra like stability. And that's what I'm doing with these now because I ran out of the doubles and I got I don't have enough pipe cleaners to finish my hair if I double them up. So these you'll have to wind a little more tight, a little tighter. Um, but as long as you wind them up tight and secure them correctly, they'll be a little shorter, but they'll still work. So you see how I wind that up and I made it tighter you know, girls, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, thick hair girls. Girls with long hair, thick hair. You know the struggle. So, I'll show you one more time. I'm making the loop. But I'm also doubling it over. So, it's going to look like this. And just be careful because these little pricklies, I have had problems with them catching on some of my locks, so be care be careful with that. But as you can see, it works. Also, when you're twisting, try to keep one of your hands on the hair because I was having problems with them unraveling sometimes. And to um, combat that, just keep your, Keep one of your hands grounded on the lock to hold the hair steady, basically hold it in place. And I kind of like, I wish I would have made more of a bang, but you know, I don't think it's bad. Next time I'll bring some more around my face. But I think these curls are gonna be bomb when I, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive these curls are gonna be bummed when I get done. When I feel like taking them out. And it, it just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it looks so, so classic to me. It kind of reminds me of like pin up, like old fashioned back in the day, like classic kind of style. Especially if you dress it up a little. Or you can wear it, you know, any kind of way. Even if you, um, you can drip, you know, I don't know. Even like the free spirit type people. Like the, you can put any kind of spin you want on it, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think if you're going for a classic look, this would be really pretty too. But you don't have to go for a classic look. That's what I'm saying. Okay, forgive me guys. I had to cut it off there. I'm not a professional. I actually ran out of time, so I had to snip it. But stay tuned. I will be showing you the reveal in the next video. Thank you for watching.